You weren't supposed to see any of this. All right, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Why don't you tell me who you are first? Name's Roscoe. That's Chief Roscoe, by the way. Now it's your turn. What are you doing here? I'm just exploring. Looking for salvage. I know it might look like it. But this isn't some junk town you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. There are places where you can do some trading. But we don't tolerate any trouble. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? I think you got the wrong idea about this place, bub. We're not vault dwellers. Vault 4 has never opened. Anyway, I'm not really supposed to turn people away unless it's obvious they're trouble. Man, you seem all right to me. So, welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit a crime, next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. Hey buddy, I need to talk to you. Hey there. Do you have a crime to report? Tell me more about this vault. Go bother Longbottom, in the museum, if you want to know anything about that. If you got a security matter, ask away. Otherwise, leave me be. What's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. My god here is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped him right into shape. <laughs> you were a soldier? With what army? Ah, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But, it was discipline. You better believe it. You're upset about something, I can tell. You're a smart one, aren't you? Yeah. The army was a hard time for me. It was for everyone. But I don't like to talk about it. I don't have anything to report. Then why are you wasting my time? If you want to chit-chat, go talk to Sanders. All she does is sit on her ass at that desk all day. Excuse me. I know that look. It's about my army service, isn't it? What happened? Come with me. I think we need to have a talk. I'll explain everything. <clears throat> I always loved the water. I think some of my best memories in Nevada were looking out on Lake Mead. It's a shame the water here is so dirty. Like in Nevada, it's completely clean and still, there's nothing more beautiful than watching the sun set from over dam. I lied to you about my army service because when I was discharged, I just wanted to leave it all behind. I walked out on everything. My home, family, all the ideals of the Republic. And I just wanted to get as far away from it as possible. That's why I came to the other side of the country. I need to put as much physical distance between myself and what happened. I suppose deep down I wanted someone to find out. That's why I kept my things. I need to take responsibility. The water? The water relaxes me. Reminds me of better times. I was in the army back in California. It was a new California Republic, where I grew up. I was stationed in Nevada, guarding a place called Hoover Dam. The place was a mess when we got there. Raider tribes and junkies whipping each other apart. And the big players were all vying for the dam. One of the tribes, the Great Khans, it was a lot of trouble back in that day. We tracked a group of them to a place called Bitter Springs. We were expecting it to be full of armed raiders, and our orders were to shoot until we ran out of ammo. That's what we did. God only knows how many we killed before we realized. 
They were women. Children. And the sick and the elderly. We didn't know whether to stop or carry on. The Major just stood there. She just watched as we killed them. She froze up, they said afterwards. How could you do that? You should have intervened. So, you agree then? I'd lie awake at night thinking the exact same thing. In the end, someone else intervened and stopped it all. You know what the worst part was? They promoted me for it. Exceptional bravery, they said. Shame on them. As soon as I could, I left the army and went as far away from California as I could get. Now here we are. It's all caught up with me. I realize now that there's no sense in hiding from it. I need to take responsibility for what I did. I need to be punished. I want you to kill me. Is there anything I can say that will change your mind? There's nothing. I've been thinking about this for a long time. The only thing that stopped me from killing myself is because there'd be no one to remember what happened. Now, you know my story. It's up to you to remember it. You can't be serious. I'm afraid I am. I thought about this for a long time. Now you're here. Now you've heard my story. I think it's the right time. I want you to kill me. All right, I'll do it. Thank you. You're doing the right thing. It's what I deserve. Come on, do it. Shoot me dead. What are you waiting for? Kill me already. What's your problem? Why don't you just kill me? I've always found that the best way to heal is to help others do the same. I, I think I hear what you're saying. If I'm gonna make it right, then I need to help people. Thanks for your advice. I think I know exactly who I need to help if I want to bring about healing. I'll see you on the caravan trail. <clears throat> Hopefully I can do some good here and make up for what I've done. You weren't supposed to see any of this.